Today, I am really excited to be unboxing the brand new 2022 iPhone SE. With a familiar design, it packs some serious power, featuring the same A15 Bionic chip uh, as from the iPhone 13, as well as some really cool features, all of which I cannot wait to check out. All right, so this year the iPhone SE starts at $429 or £419, uh, which is actually a little bit more expensive compared to uh, the previous generation. In terms of colors, it comes in red, starlight, as well as the midnight that I have right here. And there we go. Oh, already this looks great. Uh, it is really interesting to see the midnight color on a phone this small, yet also uh, so familiar, of course, largely resembling the design that we saw on the iPhone 8. Uh, in terms of storage, we get a 64, 128, uh, as well as a 256 gigabyte version. Now, in this case here, uh, I definitely recommend jumping up to the 128 gigabyte version, uh, as trust me, this will be worth it because 64 gigabytes just won't be enough, especially if you plan to use the phone for many years. So here it is guys in the hand. I cannot believe how small and thin this is. Uh, it was literally just delivered so you can see the cold for my fingerprints uh, just came in today and I'm really excited to start testing out this phone. Uh, so here on the front we have this sticker uh, which we actually don't see on other models which will actually highlight the, uh, the different buttons and their purposes. And of course we have that touch ID sensor on the bottom. Uh, I think that Apple may have also done this as uh, a lot of people who buy the iPhone SE will also be those first time buyers. So this may be uh, good for people who are new to the iPhone. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. Let's peel off the plastic here. There's the front. And the back. Always the best part of any unboxing. And here we go. Let's take a closer look at that beautiful uh, midnight color. I really enjoy the midnight color on my iPhone 13, uh, as well as actually my Apple Watch Series 7. So I'm really glad that Apple has uh, now brought it to the iPhone SE. Uh, if you're not familiar with the midnight color, it's basically this really nice uh, dark blue color that in the, uh, let's say at night or in darker situations will almost look like black, but then when you bring it into the light, those uh, dark blue undertones really shine, uh, especially in the sunlight. And in my opinion, this color just looks stunning. Uh, of course, blue happens to be my favorite color. Uh, so there may be a little bit of bias there, but uh, I'm really, uh, really a big fan of this color. Uh, but let me know in the comments, which color uh, would you go for? All right, so let's go ahead and put the phone off to the side here and first see what else is included in the box. So just like with all other current iPhone models, we have a very thin box, uh, which means no charger. So what we have here is the lightning cable. So this looks like the uh, familiar uh, lightning to USB-C cable here. And there we go. So this is capable of also fast charging your phone, assuming you have a fast charger uh, brick. So basically you're, you're gonna want to get one that is 20 watts or higher. And then here we have the instruction manual as well. So we have the little pamphlet designed by Apple in California, very familiar. Uh, and then on the front here, we have the SIM ejector tool. We have your warranty information. Uh, and then a singular Apple sticker. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for your support. All right, let's take a closer look at the iPhone SE. Uh, for me, it feels very familiar, almost nostalgic holding a phone of this size. I never had an iPhone 8, but this reminds me of my iPhone 6S, uh, which in terms of form factor was actually mostly the same. So on the front here, we have a 4.7 inch display. Let's go ahead and boot up the phone here, press and hold the, uh, the side button bring that to life and then we have that glass on the front uh, as well as the glass on the back again now in that midnight color uh, and then we have that aluminum frame going all the way around the phone always very sleek uh, and this has that more rounded design that of course is different uh, from the iPhone 13 uh, as well as the 13 Pro. So some people prefer the more rounded design, others like the sharper design. Uh, personally, I like the sharper design a little bit more, uh, but this still feels very comfortable in the hand, especially on a smaller phone like this. So the big headline feature with this phone is that A15 Bionic chip. And this chip has performed amazingly well on the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. And to now see this in a phone that costs only just over $400, uh, is pretty amazing to see as currently it seems that the A15 chip uh, is actually the best or the fastest phone chip uh, in any smartphone out there. And then compared to the previous iPhone SE, we do get improved battery life. So this was actually a slight weak point uh, of the previous model. So this time uh, Apple promises over two hours more of video playback. Now, of course, I'm gonna do a thorough test to see how this holds up in real life, but I do like to see these improvements uh, as again, this was something that was lacking on the previous 
Celsius SE. And then this year we also get 5G. Now 5G is great for future proofing. However, today I found myself barely using it. Uh, in fact, I actually turn it off and you'll know this if you've seen uh, my recent iPhone 13 guide. Uh, I actually turn this off to save battery and just use my 4G instead. But again, in the future, as 5G develops, it will be good to have, especially if you plan to use and keep the phone uh, for the next four, five, maybe even six years. And then in terms of waterproof, the iPhone SE is rated at IP67, uh, which means it can be water resistant for up to one meter, up to 30 minutes at a time. Now this is a little bit less than the iPhone 13, however, uh, will still be plenty to comfortably use your phone uh, in the rain. And then looking at the back of the phone here, you can see we have this single lens camera. Uh, now this is a 12 megapixel wide angle lens camera uh, that comes in at f1.8, and this will give you a very shallow depth of field. Now I always prefer this approach, unlike some other mid-range smartphones which will try to cram in three sometimes even four lenses uh, but then because of their price have to keep the quality down on each lens I prefer if manufacturers use one lens and instead make that lens as good as possible uh, and that's what we see with the iPhone SE as well as the uh, Google Pixel line and I think this really delivers as at the end of the day I would rather have one really good camera uh, compared to three or four okay cameras. And then this camera also incorporates some of the new camera features that came with iOS 15. So this includes uh, photographic styles as well as deep fusion. The camera can also shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second, uh, which basically means in terms of video standards, it is up amongst the best. One thing that is missing though uh, on this camera is night mode. And this is actually a feature I really enjoy on my iPhone 13. Uh, and it's a shame to not see it on the SE, but I guess Apple have kept this for their top of the line iPhones. As you guys know, I'm also a big fan of Apple's cases. So I have also bought the uh, silicone case as well as Apple's leather case, both of which I will be testing and doing a review of for the iPhone SE. So be sure to subscribe to not miss those videos. At the end of the day, the iPhone SE is a phone that provides two crucial things, value as well as longevity. The powerful A15 processor will keep the phone fast for many years to come. And at the same time, the lack of a better word, recycled design from the iPhone 8 does help keep the price down. Is this the most exciting iPhone yet? No. Is it a solid value proposition? Well, it sure seems to be. I can't wait to test the iPhone SE's new features, uh, camera, as well as the performance. I'm also curious to see how it compares to the rest of the current iPhone lineup, as well as some previous iPhones. For example, the iPhone 11 can be bought for not much more than the iPhone SE. To best answer these questions, I will actually be switching to the iPhone SE as my main phone. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my full review and more iPhone SE videos coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything in particular you'd like me to touch on in my iPhone SE review. As always, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.